right guys, I'm kind of pissed right now because I just did this whole video and apparently my camera wasn't recording the whole time. Today I'm going to be reviewing Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect stars Anna Kendrick, it also has Elizabeth Banks, John Michael Higgins, and Rebel Wilson as Fat Amy. Anna Kendrick's character gets to college, she's going around to all these different booths to see what everybody has to offer, all these different things college has to offer. Obviously, I never went to college. So she comes across this group named the Bellas. There's only two of them left because at the beginning of the movie, they show you that the main one, the blonde Hitler, as I like to call her, she throws up all over the audience, and I guess all their team abandons them. They have two members left, and they need a certain amount of girls to be able to compete. First, when Anna Kendrick comes across them, she's like, no, you know, acapella's not my thing. I don't want to do that. She wants to be a music producer and she mixes together all these different beats to make really cool beats. One day Anna Kendrick is singing in the shower and the nice little red-headed girl finds her singing in the shower and she's like, you're amazing, like you have to join us. So they talk her into joining them. And then there is our adventure. There's also a boy acapella group who is just the best and they need to try to beat them. I can't think of their name, I'm sorry. I love John Michael Higgins and Elizabeth Banks in this movie. They're the announcers whenever everything's going on on stage and they're just hilarious. There's parts where I laugh out loud, there's parts where my husband laughed out loud. They don't show the announcers a ton and Fat Amy doesn't talk a ton, but whenever they do it's like it's really funny. Like it's not over the top, it's not too much, they give you just the perfect amount of, you know, laugh out loud commentary. So you ready to see what I thought of Pitch Perfect? Now bear with me, I'm practicing magic. I gave Pitch Perfect three and a half bottles. This is my half. Wasn't quite good enough for four, it was a little bit better than three, so it was just somewhere in the middle. It's a fun time, it's a feel good movie. I enjoyed it, my husband enjoyed it. So guys, I'll have my review for Pitch Perfect 2 up by tomorrow. I just went and saw it. I felt like if I was going to review that, I needed to review the first one. So look forward to that coming out tomorrow. And until next time, see you later.